And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the Kansas City Royals. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. And it's going to be a hot one out there, Singy. Temperatures in the 90s right now around first pitch. Yeah, Boog, some guys love this heat. They feel like there's no fear attacking the baseball. Don't have to worry about cold days and getting jammed. But I tell you what, for me, it was always about hydration because I could cramp up. And you have to make sure that you stay up on your fluids. And it's not just when the game starts. This is something that you have to do days in advance if you're someone that's prone to cramping. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And on the mound in this one, Zach Greinke. What do you have on him? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. Christian Yelich leaves the yard. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Well, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And, you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Willie Adamas stands in. The wind of the pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered. He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two two. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Out to short. And that squirts through. A couple of hits in a row for him here. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Here's Rowdy Telez. One one now. And that one hammered. That's back there. And that is gone. He blasts one out to center. And they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Riding to the plate. And that's in there at the knees. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Isbell racing over to make the catch. That is fifth. The right field, number 12. Hunter. So digging in, Hunter Renfro. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Two and one now. 
This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Brings it in. Two down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Colton Wong up to him. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that ball. Mondesi makes the catch, and that'll do it. Bottom of the first. And taking the ball for Milwaukee, Corbin Burns. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the first, and the batter will be the shortstop at Alberto Mondesi. The Royals in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That well, one misses down. in the dirt. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. That one fouled off. Two two now. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's one down. Batting second, the third baseman, Bobby Witt Jr. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Next one misses, and that's ball three. At the belt and fires. Up the middle, Adamas picks it up, fires the first on the run, and Witt is out. Here's another look with StatCast Singy. The throw needed to be strong to beat the runner, and it was. Yeah, that play was close, and I think we need to credit that 88-mile-per-hour throw as the difference maker right there. That's just impressive. Two outs, bases empty, and now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. And here it comes. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Yelich under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Royals bats are quiet there. They trail it here, three nothing. Right. Top of the second, leading off Luis Urias. The 2-2. Two -two. On the ground to third. Witt over to first. And quickly one away in the second. Batting in. The catcher, Omar Narvaez. Omar Narvaez at the plate. The wind and the pitch. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. And it's out of here. He powers one out to right field, and they add a run. It's 4-0.
He's so good at getting his arms extended, and, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. So one out, nobody on. Next for the Brewers, Garrett Mitchell. Next offering is downstairs. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. And now it's Christian Yelich. The next offering misses. Two balls and a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. That one fouled off. Two and two. Two down. Nobody on. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Way back. On its way. Turning. Looking. And that one is gone. He rockets one to right, his second home run of the game, and they tack one on the board. It's five zip. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, Manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. And now the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Hey. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. And the righty deals. This one in the air right field. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And the lead is now 5-0. Back here in Kansas City. And now it's going to be Vinny Pasquantino. Next pitch off the play. Three and one now. Left hand batter waits. A little out front there as he swings through it. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. The 3-2 right. is ball off four. the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. So a man aboard at the batter now, Michael A. Taylor. pitch that one to first and it gets by him lead runner to second so two on and nobody out that is good. so here's the Royals DH MJ Melendez he's a catcher by trade but the DH here in this one in the air left field down the line Yelich towards the line looking up makes a one-handed catch Batting seven, the second baseman. Two on with one out. And next up for the Royals, Michael Massey. Go. 
Next offering is fouled back. Two on, one out. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Pasquantino, the lead runner at second. Taylor at first, one gone. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Out number two. Really good, hard bite to that breaking ball for the strikeout right there. I mean, he was able to bury it down below the zone, and that's throwing the pitch with conviction. Good thing for the pitcher, he's not going to miss in the zone, and that's where you get hurt. Excellent execution with two strikes. That could be a big weapon for him in this start. So first and second with two outs. Digging in, Drew Waters. The one-two. A little bit low. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. 2-2 two, two now. Line drive. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Royals strand a pair. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. set for the start of the inning and here's the first baseman Rowdy Telez swing and a line drive base hit out of the center field man aboard on the leadoff single Tough game for him so far, Boog. Another hit, and they've just been knocking him around through the first two plus. He's got to get things back on track, maybe junk a pitch that isn't working, or he might not last much longer. Man at first, here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Smoked into left, base hit. Waters whips it in quickly. Rudder stops at second. And the first two reach to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience oh, in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And the Royals manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. Zach Greinke will give way. And the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. So the Royals bring on a new arm, Brad Keller. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Ball to strike. Out front, rip foul. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Now all even up. Movement in the bullpen. Luke Weaver is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Chop to third. And foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Perez drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. The batter, the second baseman, Colton. Wong. Up now for Milwaukee, Colton Wong popped out to left his first time. Here comes a pitch. And another ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. One out. Runners at first and second. Oh, 
Next offering is down low. And a count is three and one. High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. Way back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they throw three on the board. It's 8 nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. One out, base is empty. Luis Urias digs in now. Next pitch misses, and the count's full. Kicks and deals. Ripped to short. It's in and out of his glove. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Up next for Milwaukee, the catcher, Omar Narvaez. Two outs, space is empty. Omar Narvaez up now for the Brewers. And he deals. And it's even up. Right-handed reliever. And down on strikes. Third out. The Brewers add three on this blast. It's now an eight nothing game. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the rookie right fielder, Kyle Isbell. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time, and even. Shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. And yeah, the right hater deals. That's ball two. Two balls, two strikes. And it's filled up. And a pitch. Bounced up the middle. Wong handles. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Now batting. Not shortstop. Alberto Mundesi. So the Royals batting order turns over. Adelberto Mundesi up to the plate. And a 1 1. And that one wrapped foul. On the ground. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. That's what a good sinker is designed to do get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. The 2 1. Fought off foul. The two out and nobody on. You want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind him. Got him. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Nothing doing for the Royals. Still 8 nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Out of the fourth. Up now for Milwaukee. Garrett Mitchell.
and that's ball four. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny. And a pitch. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And now two and two. On the ground a second, might be two. Tags the runner for one, but safe at first. Oh, it's a fielder's choice. <laughs> Next for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. The pitch in there and so now one and two Yelich leads off first with one away up the middle and it gets by him into third now so runners at the corners and one out Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now it's Rowdy Telez. And the pitch. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. That was a moonshot. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add to the lead. It's 11-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Luke Weaver. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he did a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Stepping in, Andrew McCutcheon. Next offering is fouled back. Still only one out here in the inning. The next pitch misses. Full count now. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. One down, base is empty. Swing and a pop-up. Massey makes the grab. Two down. The white field, number 12. Hunter Renfro. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Righty delivers. And a count one and two. The pitch. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That one's on its way. And it's gone. Hunter Renfro hits one out. And they add a run. It's 12-0. Does an excellent job of getting his arms extended to get the fat part of the bat to the baseball. Wrists do not roll over. They stay through the zone and on plane. Excellent swing. 
And now here is Colton Wong. He's already homered in this game. And that one lifted in the air center field. Taylor has this one sized up. Drops into the glove. And the inning is over. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Ready to go, bottom four. And now the catcher comes up to him, Salvador Perez. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Right-hander kicks, deals, stays alive. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. And now the count is even. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive. <laughs> Next offering in the dirt. Full count now. And the righty deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Five foul balls in this at bat so far. And these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Kicks and fires. This one smoked out to left. And they get Perez for the out. And there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Now at the plate, Vinny Pasquantino worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. One, two now. And there's a ball. That's down and in. And there's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the plate, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Man at first with one gone. Here's the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. pitch on the ground right side four six three it's a double play and that'll do it for the inning we played four it's the Brewers 12 and the Royals nothing welcome back top five John Shabby with Chris Singleton and leading it off, Luis Urias. The wide to kick the pitch. And fouled off. <laughs> Next three offering misses, and it's three and two. The 
wind of the pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Luis Urias goes deep, and they boost their lead. It's 13-0. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Here's the catcher, Omar Narvaez. The 1-1 is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. Left-hand hitter waits. Popped up. He's got it. And there's one down. Now batting the center fielder, Garrett. Next for the Brewers, Garrett Mitchell. Here's a 1-1. And a foul ball. And a ball in two strikes. On the ground to the left. Mondesi fires over to first. And that's an out. Now batting. The left fielder. Christian Yelich. Now it's Christian Yelich. Next offering way off the plate. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. And a payoff pitch. And there's a foul ball. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So two down. Willie Adamas will hit next. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Throw to first. Yelich dives back in. Run, At run, the belt and fires. Yelich goes. On the ground, right side, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. Last half of the fifth, coming up. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, now it's the DH, M.J. Melendez. Kicks and deals. And yeah, that's outside. Left hand batter waits. That's a strike, and the count is even two and two. Two strikes. And he deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. 
Great location with that two strike fastball. I tell you what as a hitter you're looking to protect the outside part of the plate stay back on something off speed so many times that location with two strikes you just can't get around on it and that's a tough one to compete with. And to the plate for Kansas City Michael Massey. That's ripped base hit. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Drew Waters stands in. Ripped, but it curls foul. Massey stands at first with one out. And a rope into center field, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. That's back to back singles for him. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. He elevates that a little bit more. It's definitely out of here. So one out with two aboard. So up now for Kansas City, Kyle Isbell. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. And a 2-2. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him, and you know the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And yeah, the batter now at Alberto Mondesi. Next pitch downstairs, two and one. First and second, two down. Two and two. And now it's filled up. Two outs. Swings and misses. That ends the frame. Royals strand a pair. Still looking up at a 13-0 score. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the first baseman, Rowdy Telez. Now a screamer into the outfield. Can't get their base hit. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on and such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. So a man aboard. Next to hit, Andrew McCutcheon. One for three. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. Boots it. Now Now it's Hunter Renfro. He's already homered here in this one. Here comes a pitch. And it's fouled away. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Here's a one-two. Stays alive. One and two now. Hammered to center. No doubt about this one. Way out of here. Gone. 
his second home run of the game and they add to their lead it's 16 to nothing singing he's been red hot yeah another big swing of the bat for him man he is really seeing the ball well in this one You feel like everything goes slow motion when a breaking ball like that leaves the hand right down the middle of the plate and it's like the pitcher screaming no and the hitter saying yes and the ball gets tattooed for a big home run. Righty reliever out of the pen Scott Barlow. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch so he'll try to keep it where it is. Barlow. Now it's the second baseman, Colt Luong. The pitch. Bounced out to short. Montesi fires over to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. The third baseman, Luis Urias. Here's Luis Urias. Right-handed reliever. Activity in the bullpen. Anthony Misevich up and getting ready for Mike Matheny. The pitch. Foul ball. And a pitch. Inside three and two the count. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Three and two now. This one in the air center field. He makes the grab two away. Now batting the catcher. Omar Narvaez. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Omar Narvaez. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one two. Oh. Bounce to the right side. Gets it to first, and that will end the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer to the bottom of the sixth inning. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Well, we go bottom six. And to the play for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. The pitch. Good eye right there. We got two balls, one strike. On the ground, out to short. There to beat him by an eyelash. You gotta be kidding me. Did you see that throw? Not really, Boog. I mean, it happened in the blink of an eye, it seemed, but thankfully Statcast is here to help us out. I mean, you don't see many throws across the infield that get up into the 90s, so he really reached back for that one, and he had to to get the out. Here's the power hitting catcher, Salvador Perez. 3-2. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Just missed there. Boo. How would you describe your strike zone? Kind of like a weeble. Large. Runner on at first with one gone. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. The 
Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. And now, Michael A. Taylor. That one to first. He handles it himself out with room to spare, and that's the inning. So one left for Kansas City. Still 16-0. And welcome back. And now, Garrett Mitchell. Righty delivers. Strike two. I got to count. Two and two. And a pitch. Misses and the count's full. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. On the ground, right side. The throw to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The left fielder, number 22, Christian Yelly. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Here's Yelich at the dish. The 3 1. And that one fouled off. And he walked him. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Adamas checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. And yes, he offered at it. Yelich at first, one gone. That's the next ball. offering misses. Two and two. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now two away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Rowdy Telez up now for the Brewers. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Two, two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. Brewer strand one as it remains 16 to nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now MJ Melendez. And a pitch. This to third. Urias handles the chance. Zips it across. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. Left-hand hitter waits. And a count one and two. And here it comes. 
Pitch in the dirt. Two and two. Action in the pen down there. Brad Boxberger up and loosening in the pen. Milner getting cranked up as well. Next one misses. And now three and two. Kicks and fires. And that's ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bad. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. The pitch. Lined and that's a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Massey coming home. Adamas relay to third. The tag out. But they do get a run. The times that these guys take infield before ball games, they work on this play right here. And when it comes together perfectly, nice throw to the cutoff man, relay to third. You feel pretty good about cutting that guy off and keeping him from getting a triple and getting an out. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. We look ahead to inning number eight. The Brewers lead this one 16 to one. We go to the eighth. So here's the Brewers DH. Andrew McCutcheon. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And now one away. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Now it's going to be Hunter Renfro. The next pitch misses. Two and one. At the belt and fires. Inside ball three. Fouls one away and now three and two. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Two outs, space is empty. Colt Luong up now for the Brewers. The 2-2 gets a check swing. Now an appeal to third. And he held back according to Rusty Valentine. Kick and deals. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. That is the inning. So Brad Boxberger rolls into the game. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Brad Boxberger. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop at Alberto Mondesi. Left hand batter waits. And he hits a ground ball right side. Over to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. The third baseman, number seven, Bobby Witt. And next up for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. The 1-1. One -one. 
That one drifts inside. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Brent Suter, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. The 2 1. That one missed. The 3 1. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Right through there. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, he froze him with the changeup right there. And I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout. And pitcher just won the battle. So up now for Kansas City, Salvador Perez. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-1. And, Two outs. Fought off foul. That one ripped. Yelich makes the catch, and that'll do it. Anthony Misevich gets handed the rock out of the pen. Number 36, Anthony Misevich. We go to the ninth, and now Luis Urias. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. So a foul ball makes it one and two. This one popped up right side. Nice grab on the run. One down. Now batting, catcher, Omar Narvaez. Omar Narvaez up now for the Brewers. The lefty ready and a 1-1. Liner, base hit. The center field. And now the center fielder, Garrett Mitchell. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. One, two now. Hot shot to third. Knocks it down. Goes to second. Safe there. And he'll be safe at first. Back-to-back -back singles, that pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now the left fielder, Christian Yelich. Next offering upstairs. pitch foul ball there here comes a 3-2 downstairs and it misses ball four you get a walk and you get a walk everyone gets a walk boo Willie Adamas getting ready to hit And a 2-1 on the way. Hard hit, left field, base hit. One run is in. Another comes in to score, and they extend their lead.
First and second, one out. And here is Rowdy Telez. 3-2 now. On the ground, could be two. Goes to second, safe there. Here's the Brewers' DH, Andrew McCutcheon. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Well, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. 2-2 two, two down. Turned on, but foul wide of third. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. 2-2 two, two now. Swing and a broken bat flare. On to first. Oh. Out number two, and another run comes in. Now batting the right fielder, Hunter. Richard Lovelady into the game and never an easy situation coming in with runners at second and third. Number 11, Richard Lovelady. Up now for Milwaukee, Hunter Renfro. Next pitch inside, ball two. Adamas at third, Telez on at second with two down. In the air, center field, Isbell sizing this one up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the third out. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. The Brewers lead it 19 to 1. Tyrone Taylor into the game as a defensive sub now. And he'll take over in center. Tyrone. Back here in Kansas City. Bottom of the ninth at the play. Vinny Pasquantino. And the right-hander deals. This to center field. Makes the catch. And there's one away. Now batting center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. Here's the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. Right-hander kicks deals, and now two and one. And he deals. Pitch misses, three and one. Right-handed reliever, swing and a miss, and it's three and two. That's out to center field. Taylor under it and puts the squeeze on that. That's out number two. The batter, number one, designated hitter, MJ. Two outs, base is empty. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. Here's the 2 2. That smash towards center. Makes the catch. Ball game. 
and the Brewers take this one in a blowout. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. So this one got a little out of hand. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.